여러분, BBS 생활영어의 선연우입니다. 반갑습니다. 안녕하세요, 여러분, and welcome back to another episode of EBS s 생활영어. I'm Megan Bowen. 안녕하세요, 안녕하세요. 안녕하십니까. 네, 이번 주에는 일주일 동안 문자 메시지에 대한 이야기를 하고 있습니다. That's right. This week we're talking about texting or sending text messages or exactly. receiving text messages. 네, sending text messages라고 해도 되지만 sending texts. Mm-hmm. Sending texts, receiving texts. 네. <웃음> 그래서 text message라는 것이 원래 두 단어가 하나로 되어 있는데 그냥 텍스트라고 하기만 해도 문자 메시지를 가리키는 말이 되죠. 그건 그냥 참고로 말씀드렸고 이번 주의 주제는 다시 한번 텍스팅입니다. 문자 메시지를 보내는 거. 오늘의 핵심 내용은 굉장히 짧아요. Yeah, it's very short, but it is so short. I memorized it this time. <웃음> I prefer texting. 네, 저는 문자 메시지를 선호해요라는 내용으로 공부를 할 거고요. Mm-hmm. 이와 관련된 이야기를 해주실 분은 Bluein C 입니다. 네, 그럼 Bluein C의 전체 이야기를 듣기 전에 먼저 요약 문장부터 만나볼까요? Sounds great. Bluein C 나와주세요. When it comes to catching up, I really appreciate people who text me first asking if I'm free. When it comes to catching up, I really appreciate people who text me first asking if I'm free. When it comes to catching up, I really appreciate people who text me first asking if I'm free. 네, 사람들이 이렇게 해 주면 고맙더라라는 내용이죠. 문장 다시 한번 볼까요? So, Bluen said, "When it comes to catching up, I really appreciate people who text me first asking if I'm free." When it comes to 하면 뭐뭐에 있어서, 뭐뭐 면에서 catch up, catch up 하면 일단 누군가가 앞서가고 있고 mm-hmm. I will catch up with you later 하면 내가 나중에 따라잡을게 라는 의미로도 mm-hmm. 쓸수 있지만 그냥 친구들 사이에 일반적으로 Hey, let's catch up. It's been a while. 이렇게 말하면 yeah. 오랜만에 만나는 걸 말해요. Yeah, it's been a while since you met them, so you have to catch up on their life. 그렇죠. Right? 그동안 따로따로 생활하고 바쁘게 지내느라고 몰랐던 이야기들을 이제 따라잡으면서 yeah. 네, 최신 이야기까지 듣는 거죠. 서로 그래서 catch up 그런 의미로 쓰이는데 mm-hmm. 그래서 오랜만에 만날 때 I really appreciate people who 뒤에 뭐뭐 해주는 사람들에게 감사한 마음을 느낀대요. Text me first. Yes. 그냥 다짜고짜 전화해가지고 뭐해? 이러는 게 아니고 먼저 yes. 시간 돼 asking if I'm free. That's 시간 right. 되는지 물으면서 문자부터 보내주는 사람이 고맙다. Mm-hmm. Okay? I think I'm there with you on that, yeah, Bowens. Yeah, me too. Right? Mm. Let's review her speaking summary. When it comes to catching up, I really appreciate people who text me first asking if I'm free. When it comes to catching up, I really appreciate people who text me first asking if I'm free. When it comes to catching up, I really appreciate people who text me first asking if I'm free. 안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하세요안녕하
I like to give the person the freedom to finish what they're doing and to prepare for a little relaxed catch-up session. Whereas when somebody calls me out of the blue and asks to catch up, then they're requiring me to put down everything I was doing just so that we can catch up immediately. And I find that slightly inconvenient. So I, I understand it's simply a difference in personalities and preferences, but I think we should all adopt the text first policy. 네, 오늘의 핵심 어휘 보겠습니다. 먼저 assume 나왔어요. 추측하다, 추정하다. 그리고 표현인데요. out of the blue, out of the blue 하면은 갑자기란 뜻이에요. 그리고 마지막으로 채택하다. adopt, adopt. 발음 연습해 보죠. Repeat after me, starting with assume. 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 Next we have out of the blue. Together out of the blue. Out of the blue. And lastly, we have adopt. 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 Perfect. Let's take a look at Fluence's clip once again, but with English subtitles. Aside from my closest friends and family members, whenever I get phone calls, I assume that something bad has happened or it's an emergency. But oftentimes, it's simply a friend who wants to catch up. And I've always found this very strange because I'm the type of person to prefer texting over phone calls. I will probably send a text to ask simple questions or to figure out when we're meeting or even when I want to catch up, I will usually send a text first asking, hey, are you free right now to catch up? Or hey, would you like to catch up tomorrow at 3 p.m.? I like to give the person the freedom to finish what they're doing and to prepare for a little relaxed catch-up session. Whereas when somebody calls me out of the blue and asks to catch up, then they're requiring me to put down everything I was doing just so that we can catch up immediately. And I find that slightly inconvenient. So I, I understand it's simply a difference in personalities and preferences, but I think we should all adopt the text-first policy.